Remember, the summary section appears at the bottom of a spreadsheet or at the top. But it basically ties, well, not basically it does, it ties all the information together. So in summary, this is what we learned. Okay, so the average of our starting balance. This is what we learned. This is how much money we started with on average. Okay, we started out with $91,000. Okay, so that's not too bad. A lot of most businesses though they start out with millions of dollars but ours is 91,000 so it would work for us so the max starting balance what was our highest point when were we doing the best okay so that's why they call this a summary section so you can see when you were doing the best when you were doing your worst what were you doing on average now notice none of these numbers are formatted as of yet and that's where we get ourselves in trouble is we format the numbers way 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 too soon and then we end up with too many dollar signs uh, percents become dollars months become dollars it just gets all messed up if we format too soon so now let's go to the next column and we will put in the calculations for the next column and the income the expenses and the indie balance we're going to put in the same calculations the average the max and the min for each one of them boom there they are like magic they all showed up not really magic I paused the video and typed them all in so you wouldn't have to watch me type it in calculations so now I'm gonna format these numbers so now they'll look pretty okay so you want to format at the end after all the numbers are in so you don't accidentally do formatting you don't want to do and sometimes Excel will do that formatting you want to do because it's basing some formatting off of what we've done previous and that isn't always what we want so your safest bet is to do it at the end in the summary section you want the symbol on every line in the summary section because many times the boss the supervisor they're gonna say just tell me the bottom line that's what also what they call the summary section is the bottom line now I went back and I turned off the decimal places because we didn't use them we don't have cents we just have full dollars okay so we just went back we took them off and that's what our numbers look like without the cents Okay, I'm going to change the color of my border, my top and bottom border. This blue that Excel defaults to is kind of bland, so you kind of want to change it. Change the thickness of the line. Change the color of the line to one, the color you like. Two, one that makes it stand out more. See, that, that green just draws so much more attention to it than that bland blue one that Excel defaults to. So now we're going to go down here to more borders again find the desired color and width you don't go super fat with your border but I am this time or I'm debating on it at least up oh, there I go I'm gonna go with the super thick one this time BAM there it is okay I'm gonna increase the row height of both the highest and the lowest this time to draw more attention to them as well plus then it, you know increase the row heights of those makes it so it doesn't look as scrunched and then you center horizontally and vertically to sep to add separation